Today we're going to be looking at an example use case for UiPath's robotic process automation tool. In this example, we'll be reading some unique identifiers off of a web page, searching for them in an Excel spreadsheet, and then using that spreadsheet to correlate that unique identifier with a specific name. Then we'll open a web browser, search for that name on Wikipedia, and take note of whether that person has a page, and if so, anything important about them. This data will all be entered into a free text field on the unique identifiers object within a work system and saved. Here we're going to start by opening and authenticating into our demo work system. These credentials are actually pulled on the fly from UiPath's Cloud Orchestrator tool and are encrypted end to end. No plain text passwords are ever stored or transmitted. Once we're in the system, we'll open up another web browser with Wikipedia. You'll also see the spreadsheet that the bot is referencing floating in the lower right of the screen. This is to help make clear the lookups that the bot is doing behind the scenes. In our work system, the bot has already selected the first matching UID, which is actually the WIID record, and will now cross-reference that with our spreadsheet. The bot then takes that name from our cross-reference and searches for it. Finding no results, it updates the record accordingly. We can select and interact with any UI element on the screen, as you're seeing here, whether they are lists, text fields, or buttons. Now that we've run through a few items in our demo mode, we will turn that off and let the bot run at full speed through the rest of the records. Now that the bot has finished its work, we can see that it's cleaned up, it's closed all of our browser windows, and it's opened up a report that we've generated as a result of all the data that we went through. In this case, it's a simple HTML document that we've generated containing the user ID, the name, profession, and any Wikipedia link if it was found. But this could certainly be put into an email and sent along or formatted in really any other way that the output would be needed. 